Hey YouTube, welcome to Gazi's x -ray. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Kodi on your iPad and other tricks using your Mac. Coming up after this brief intro. Alright, first we need to navigate to this URL and then enter your Apple ID, the one you use for your Mac. Alright, so now we need to agree to Apple's term services and submit. All right, so once it's, uh, it's done, we need to go and look for Xcode in the App Store. Once it's uh, installed, let's open it up. And now we need to go to the Xcode menu, Preferences, and then click on Accounts. And uh, let's uh, add our Apple ID. Same one we used earlier. All right, that's great. Okay, uh, now we need to download the files from the description. And let's open up Xcode. Click on create new Xcode projects and click on iOS applications, single view application. All right, so now we need to give it a custom name, any name you want. I'm calling it iPad Cody. And also for the organization, we're going to call it com.ipad and make sure it's Swift and click on next. Let's go to desktop and save our file there. All right, so now we need to uh, fix uh, this uh, error here. We gotta choose our accounts from there. Also, if we click on fix now, it's not gonna be able to be fixed. And the reason why uh, we need to choose our device. So if we go here up top, navigate and find your iOS device. I have iPad mini 2. You can have iPhones. It will work too. And now we're if we click on fix, it's going to be able to fix the issue. All right. So I'm going to choose my iOS version. I have 9.1. You can have 9.2. And uh, now we need to navigate to iOS app signer and uh, let's uh, choose our Kodi file first. All right. I have uh, Kodi 15.2.1. Uh, this is the latest version. Make sure you always download the latest version from Kodi's uh, repository. And also let's uh, choose our uh, projects we created uh, I call it uh, iPad uh, iPad Kodi remember and let's push the start button so it can be compiled I'm gonna save it again to this desktop all right so it took a little bit of time for it to create the IPA file and now we need to send it to our device from window look for devices and choose your iPad and let's send our file from the plus button here and let's choose the file we just created and it's gonna be sending the file to our iPad or iOS device all right that's great so our uh, Kodi seems to be installed just fine all right, now what I like to do is just uh, check my iPad using QuickTimes so I can see what's going on from there. And uh, this trick is really cool if you want to record the screen for your iPad while you're playing a game or something. But I'm going to just use it today to show you uh, Kodi that is working here. Uh, you can see this untrusted developer. That's fine. Uh, we're going to fix this message right away. Let's go to settings general and navigates down profile and management 
and voila this is the email that I we used for Apple ID we're gonna make it to trust again trust and now we can launch our app all right so I'm gonna open it up and voila it's look like Kodi is installed and it's very smooth uh, if you guys like this video and would like to see more uh, helpful videos uh, please subscribe and uh, see you in the next one take care